Yeah, so here we have a, a section of um, what we have developed at Hydro Garden is um, an indoor, indoor grow room, basically, a controlled environment. And this is the first section where basically it's a full NFT system where we've got a nutrient tank. Nutrients is pumped up through the manifolds through um, one bar emitter, so then that can regulate the um, amount of water that we require to go down the NFT. Obviously the plant then takes up the nutrients, what, it's, what it needs, and then it goes back into the tank where it'll then get readjusted for the pH and the EC throughout its, um, its time in the gully. Looking roughly in at uh, about 28, 28 days for production of a lettuce. Here we're using Valoya L18s, it's the, the, the milky version there, 18 watts. Um, with this rack we've kind of designed it so that throughout the, the cycle of the crop, when the plant first goes in, we can lower the lights. Now a lot of these systems, the, the racks normally are fixed, so you haven't got that option of being able to drop the lights down to the crop, and as, as well as taking the light away from the crop as it's fully grown. Also, with inside this, the, the growing room that we've got at Hydro Garden, um, we have three of these racks and the room is fully controlled. And that is also linked up to your PC or your smartphone where we can control the temperature, humidity, the CO2 levels, the lighting levels. We can also put a full um, recipe in, depending on what crop we want to grow. So we can change temperatures at night or increase the temperatures in the daytime. The racks have been designed so they can move, that being so you can then get down either sides of the racks for harvesting purposes. Um, the biggest thing for us at Hydro Garden was basically to create the environment first for the plant where other people may come across and go, oh, I want to design a rack. Um, but we've, we've come at it from what this plant actually needs first, instead of going, oh, we've got this, you know, which is, which is wrong. So we've come at it going, right, what's the plant want? Let's create the environment first. So, you know, getting the temperature right, the humidity, being able to control that is a must before you do anything. And uh, I think, you know, what we've done, what we've done at Hydro Garden is probably, it's going to be one of the leaders, I think, in, um, in the indoor urban agriculture. What we have here is the first commercially available aquaponic unit uh, in the UK with a range of consumables. Um, in the tank below is where the fish live. Uh, fish excrete ammonia in the faeces and also from the gills. Um, that is taken up in solution to the grow bed area here where bacteria convert the ammonia firstly to nitrite and then to nitrate, uh, nitrate being a plant food. So in the grow bed you can plant uh, salad greens, lettuce, carrots, radishes, whole range of uh, vegetables. So what you have here is a unit that will produce both fish protein and vegetables. It's quite a simple system. This is the small unit which is designed for the average family, which can produce anywhere between five and 10 kilos of fish per year, um, with up to 20 kilos of uh, very nutritious vegetables. If you, if you put a wormery next to it, um, you can then actually feed the worms to the fish. Um, the fish then feed the plants. The plant offcuts then go back into the wormery so you have a complete ecosystem. It can also be used with a heater to grow fish such as tilapia, which is the uh, second most popular farmed fish in the world. There are a number of schools that have taken the, the family unit and the production unit um, and using it in the syllabus to teach maths, um, biology, physics, um, home economics, um, environmental science, because it is an ecosystem within itself. I have a number of customers, one in, in, in Somerset in particular, um, who is earning a very good living from it um, by growing trout um, and then smoking the trout, making pâtés um, and taking the, the vegetable produce to farmer's market. So you know, as, as part of um, you know, urban agriculture, uh, it does have its place.